How do you like me now? Well, today we're going to be talking about an Amiki Falcon. Um, this was one of the earlier pens I got for my collection, uh, and I got it because it had a semi-flex nib. I really wanted to try my hand at, at flex nibs. Um, usually you get those on really nice old vintage pens, um, but a few manufacturers make flexi nibs these days, and one of them uh, is, uh, is, is um, Namiki. Uh, they, they do a decent, at least semi-flex nib. So, how do I like it now, after a, a couple of years? Um, well, the pen, I haven't used it for a while, and when I was doing the writing sample, it railroaded like crazy. Now, that may have been the Gerbain Perle Noir ink, but I was a little startled, because it didn't used to do that. So I'm not sure whether anything is wrong. I cleaned it very well before I stored it, um, but it's, it's, it's kind of strange, this excessive railroading behavior. Um, as I said before, it didn't, but hey, we're talking about how I like it now. If the pen railroads this much and it actually stops writing at some point, I'm not too impressed. So that's kind of strange, but it could have been just a glitch. could have been just the, the ink that was not right with this pen. I don't know. I've cleaned it well. We'll see what happens. Um, the pen... Uh, it, 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 it is held up well, it's resin, um, I'm not sure how well you can see this, it's already a little dark here, it's, it's uh, dusk, um, but there are some micro scratches on the barrel, hey, it's what happens when you got a resin pen, you use it a lot, um, you don't really see it that badly, but you do see it, um, I love, I still like the nib, I mean, even if it railroads, I'm, I'm sure I can, can fix that, um, it's a very interestingly shaped nib, I really love that, and I, I think it really performs well uh, in, in general. Right now I see the nib is not really lined well with the feet, but I'll fix that. Um, that's cool. One thing I noticed about this pen, you may see this odd converter. Uh, the converter actually didn't hold up too well. It, it um, At some point I just put some tape on there to make it airtight. Um, but at some point the whole metal part, oops, sorry. At some point the whole metal part just came off. Um, and that's it is threaded, but I couldn't get it back on. It was like the the threads were actually just worn out. Um, so that's that's kind of strange. And for a pen, you know, at this price level, you, you wouldn't really expect it. Maybe it just got a faulty converter. I don't know. Um, overall, I love the pen. The one thing about it that that still bothers me a bit is that it is super light. I don't think this is one of the lightest pens I, I own. Even when you post it, you get a little bit of extra weight. But unposted, you don't feel you're holding anything. That's just I put this in my hand, that's just no weight. That's just, you don't notice it. It's very strange. And being a guy who likes somewhat heavier pens, that is not really for me. But, okay. In all, semi-flex, is it super cheap? No. Um, is it worth the money? Well, it's not bad. It's it's not bad. Um, but if you're really looking for flex, I personally would say, get yourself a nice vintage pen. Here's a, a, a Waterman 52V. Um, no, sorry, sorry, not a 50 This is a 503. Nice pen, lever filler, may have to restore it, but it's not that difficult. I have videos on that. Um, 14K gold nib, this thing flexes like crazy, and the feed will keep up. So you will not run out of ink, you will not get railroading, unless you really flex it for like 30 seconds in a row. So, an interesting pen. How do I like it now? I probably would buy it again, but if I was going to spend money and I would just wanted to buy a flex pen just for the flex, I would not get it. So that's how I like it now. Okay, the Namiki Falcon. Now, since these videos are a bit of a trip down memory lane, look what I found in a desk drawer. Uh, this is from my final year in secondary school, so I was about 17, 18 at the time these pictures were taken. Are they cute? Yeah, young SBRE Brown. Now then, Namiki Falcon. Was it everything I expected it to be? Well, pretty much, yes. Um, my first flex nib, or I should probably say semi-flex, um, one of the few nibs I like to use black ink in, or pens I like to use black ink in. It's a soft fine. Um, I like the way it writes. And um, one of the special things about this nib is, of course, the semi-flex um, capability of it. Um, it's a nice wet nib. Even the very, very fine nib is, is uh, definitely wet. 
um, and you have that nice semi-flex thing going on which allows you to do things like that which I think is very cool now of course the pen runs dry I need to prime the feet a bit more I was doing that fairly quickly usually it keeps up a little bit better I've got the feeling this is Gerbin uh, uh, Perle Noir I've got the feeling this pen doesn't really like that ink for some reason it's a very liquidy ink I should probably try some um, noodless X feather or something because as you can see I really have trouble getting it to start now um, I've not I've not really experienced that before so I, I really think it's it's this particular ink here um, I love the smoothness of the nib even though it's very fine I love the way it writes uh, you get feedback because this one is so fine but as you can see that that really nice soft flex uh, a, a semi flex stuff makes up for a lot of that um, so in all, I, I love it. I think it's a very interesting pen, and I really enjoy using it. So I hope that was useful, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.